friends in this video i am going to explain about the query runner option in pega prpc okay what is the use of query runner and how do we configure that query runner option in pega so by default by default we don't have this option by default we don't have this option in pega prpc in order to get this query runner option in pega for example now see here go to configure system database here there is an option call it as a query runner and query inspector and schema tools by default you must have a schema change tracking optimize schema and modify schema and column population jobs but you don't have an option schema tools query inspector and query runner okay so in order to get these options in your pega prpc tool first uh, you must you must enable pega rules colon database administrator access role to your access group you must add pega rules colon database administrator access role to your access group for example i am opening my operator record here this is my access group for my application sbi apple others is my access group when i open this access group you may or may not have this role you may or may not have this role so pega rules colon database administrator if it is not there you don't get these options okay so that's why please add this pega rules colon database administrator access role to your access group then after that just click on save and log off and login again just log off and login again okay then after that you just what you have to do just click on schema database query runner so what is the use of this query runner what is the use of this query runner here so you can directly run the sql queries on the pega dev studio you can directly run the sql queries in the pega dev studio you no need to open that uh, your uh, pg admin tools or another another database client tools also you know sometimes in the when you are using the pega cloud environments also you may not have an option to connect it to the database and to trigger some sql queries so even if you want to troubleshoot because this is mainly useful for a debugging and troubleshooting purpose okay if you want to troubleshoot something and if you want to verify what is the data is present in the appropriate database table etc okay and if you want to also analyze the query which is i mean so if there is an option call it as a query inspector query inspector inspect means inspect means verifying inspection checking similarly query inspector here means um, your query this there is an option here how this query is how this query is is there any improvements need to be taken to your query okay so these are the options by default will be available by default will be available and you can also manage from the dev studio now what i am going to do here i can enter the sql query enter an sql query to generate your results maximum 500 rows so here query entity and history query entity and history uh, let's see okay so how many times you executed a sql queries and what time what is the results etc okay query entry here choose your database by default we have a pega rules and pega data so you can choose any one of these database schema or database pega rules and pega data okay now here i am going to choose pega data now here sql query enter your sql query so now i want to see my work class i want to see my work class work objects sbi loan home sbi apple work whatever the class if you want you can select it so here by default this is mapping to when you click on test connection this class is mapped to this this class is mapped to this database table this database table just select this and now now go to your a uh, query runner now what i am doing is uh, select a star from just very simple now click on run now here you can see the results 
similarly if you want you can you can uh, use see how many number of records by default i am having uh, these many number of records and you can see these many number of columns as well how many number of columns just go up so px committed date and time px saved date and time px cover nsp px covered count etc by default so the, as usually what is the database table which is present in the postgresql in the back end the same i can run the query and i can fetch the data similarly if you want you can run it for other other database tables as well for example uh, i have a another class uh, sbi i have another class okay or else no problem uh pc assign worklist because we know that assign worklist pc assign worklist now i want to test it for P, uh, select star from data underscore pc assign underscore worklist just click on run Okay, there was a problem while performing the database query. The query SQL core database exception does not exist. PC assign work list. Now just run. Now see, this is our PC assign work list. Now like this, you can run any database table. You can run any query here also. So now here you can also join everything. You can do it from here from the query runner. Okay. And you can see the history. How many number of queries you have been executed. Just refresh here. Okay. And if you want, you can export also. Okay, SQL query executed, SQL query failed, etc. And these are the queries. If you want, you can export. Okay, export Excel and export to PDF. This will be useful for you to analyze the database queries and without jumping into the database uh, tools, database client tools, etc. Okay, query runner. And here you can also join. And here you can also choose not only Pega data, you can also choose Pega rules. For example, um, rule hyphen rule set version, right? Rule hyphen rule set version. For example, this is one of the class. Now go to sysadmin. Class. Click on test connection. Now see this one, this is just now we run the data schema. Now this is a rule schema, rules schema. Now go to here, run here, select a star from rules.pr4 rule set. Now you can see the results. see this one and if you want you can see the rule set and rule set versions everything the table okay you can join everything you can do it from here but uh, the main thing is by default you don't have an option you have to enable that access role in your access group that is first thing and other thing is when you run the query sometimes you may get an exception sometimes you may get an exception if you are getting an exceptions um, you must configure these settings uh, in your pr config.xml file as well as your context.xml file your context.xml file and pr config.xml file okay now go to your context.xml file go to your context.xml file of your prpc personal edition so Conf. See here, my PRPC personal edition is ePega 8.6 PRPC personal edition Tomcat Conf. There is a context.xml file. Please open this context.xml file. Okay, now here in the context.xml file, by default, you have these many settings. By default, you have uh, these many settings and uh, see this one resource, JDBC, Pega rules, etc. Resource, JDBC, Pega rules, etc. By default, this resource configuration setting is present in the context.xml file.
so in order to work this query runner properly you must enable or you must configure this as well you must configure this resource tag you must add this resource tag in the context.xml file so resource name jdbc pega rules read only auth container factory org.apache tomcat jdbc pool data source factory type java xsql dot data source and etc so this username and password is based on your postgre sql database server settings because in your prpc personal edition or in your laptop or in your machine you have a postgre sql right and you have to please make sure that that port number username and password is obviously when you open the context.xml file so here all the settings are by default but only thing is you can copy this as usually and you can modify accordingly change that jdbc pega rules to pega rules read only and you have to keep it the original one you have to add this additional one jdbc pega rules read only auth container etc max act 200 max ideal 10 driver class name so everything you must add so after you adding this resource you have to open your pr config.xml file the pr config.xml file is tomcat uh, web apps tomcat web apps pr web and uh, web by nf here pr uh, classes pr config.xml file once you open after you open the pr config.xml file you have to add uh, these two these two jdbc tags okay env name database databases pega rules here if you want you can copy paste th these two if you want you can copy paste these two but only change here is only change here is instead of uh, pega rules you have to use a data source read only you have to use a data source read only here data source right here you have to add a data source read only but here this is the jdbc directory right java colon com pnv jdbc pega rules you must add com pnv jdbc pega rules read only which is added in the context.xml file right so you must enable these configuration settings after that you have to restart the server then you can launch the query runner after that you have to restart the server first if you enable that pega rules colon database administrator you can only see that uh, option okay you you will get an exception when you when you running the sql query so what you have to do you have to update these configuration settings you have to update these configuration settings in the pr config.xml file and uh, context.xml file after that restart the server again run the query again run the query it will be useful for you within the dev studio and you can debug or you can test your sql query results as well and at the same time also so now here uh, i am using uh, pega data select a star from data dot pc assign work list where uh, where pz ins key equal to lub lub okay something assign iphone work 234 just i am giving like this generate explain plan generate explain plan see this one when you click on generate explain plan which is nothing but a query inspector right in the query inspector so it will share the your okay index scan using pcsn worklist on pcsn worklist cost of the query see by default when you click on generate explain plan each and every have query is having the cost cost of the query now the cost of the query is zero 20 0.278.9 rows one width index count so basically basically this tool this option will be useful to improve the query design to improve the query design based on the cost of the query based on the cost of the query okay query inspector and sometimes in the real time also people will ask you do, do you have any idea about the query inspector and query runner also okay and coming to the schema tools by default we have a two schemas one is a pega rules another one is a pega data
agent of the database rules okay blob size updater etc now when you expand this pega rules similarly when you expand pega data is there any option to see the tables it's not giving okay so now see here in the pega rules what are the list of tables and what are the list of views you can see everything from here itself instead of going to that uh, instead of going to that uh, pg admin tools or other database client tools everything here you can see here similarly views in the pega data tables also here you can expand tables also here pcsn worklist etc now after that also just expand you can see the columns or not see columns and indexes so everything you can find out and everything you can manage from here okay okay so please explore these options at least i hope you understand this simple concept and okay thank you